Hey kids, it's me, Johan. Um, it's about 8.30, Sunday night. I've just gotten out of the shower. Um, I'm all clean and tidy for surgery tomorrow morning. Probably fixing to go to bed here fairly soon. Um, not because my surgery is so early. Uh, I mean, I don't even have to be there till 9 o'clock. But it's just that... I want to try to get a good night's sleep because my stomach's kind of being weird tonight. Probably eating a sonic blast after dinner didn't really help things, but what are you going to do? Um, but Panky and I are going to hopefully come to a an understanding after tomorrow. Uh, I'd like you to meet Panky, uh, this is my representative of my pancreas that Tommy and Lori gave to me. Hopefully you'll meet Tommy and Lori in future videos um, if they let me use their likeness. But uh, they were kind enough to get me my very own brand new pancreas. So uh, hopefully... My current one will cooperate tomorrow, and I might be able to, I don't know, do stuff. Not be in pain all the time. I just, I hate hurting all the time because I hate having to tell people I'm hurting all the time. Because it just sounds like bullshit, you know? Uh oh, you're in pain again. Mm -hmm. But again, hopefully tomorrow, after they put some stents into the blocked ducts that I have, hopefully uh, things will start functioning again. And you know, maybe it won't hurt as bad. Maybe I won't have to go into the hospital as often. Maybe. Um, Maybe I might be able to go off of insulin. I don't know. That's kind of a tall order, but a guy can dream, I guess, right? Anyway, I will do my best to say hi and check in either tomorrow before we leave for surgery or maybe even tomorrow before I actually go under the knife or under the scope as it were it's an endoscopic procedure i don't think there really is any under the knife surgeries anymore other than like cardiac surgery but i will be going under the scope hopefully i can uh, get a quick video in before that otherwise i will talk to you at some point tomorrow once my anesthesia wears off and hopefully I'm reasonably pain-free. And uh, I'll check in and say hi. Anyway, thanks to all three of you who have been watching the last three or four days. Um, if you like my video, hit the like button down at the bottom. If you haven't already and you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and... Hopefully you'll get a notice when I post new videos. Um, tell your friends, anyone that might want to watch me be stupid on YouTube, let them know. But otherwise, uh, we'll see you soon, tomorrow, at some point. Peace out. Okay, I'm here at the hospital. Got my IV all hooked up. I guess I'm pretty much ready to go other than to get my good drugs for my nap. Uh, I'll hopefully talk to you on the other side. It's Johan out. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, kids. Um, I'm home from surgery. In case you cannot tell from the video uh, my face is swollen I feel like I've been punched in the mouth 
and my throat sore, uh, which I expected that. Basically, the doctor could not fix the problem because the blockage in my pancreas is so severe. So I am being referred to Barnes in St. Louis. He says they can probably do a better job with their equipment and their specialized, ultra specialized surgeons. So I'm sure I will be making several trips to St. Louis in the coming weeks. Which means my triumphant return to running will be delayed again. But I'm not giving up on it. So... I guess basically uh, don't give up on me just yet. I still need you guys. Right now, um, I'm going to bed. Uh, get an ice pack for my big old swelled up face. And I'm going to lie down. Um, thanks for the, uh, the good juju and thinking about me um but uh i'm gonna try to go to sleep for a while johan out talk to you soon hey it's johan again johan and his huge fat lip coming to you from apparently my favorite place to make videos I don't know why I'm always sitting here when I decide to make a video, but here I am. I've had a day to think about things, process the fact that I've had two pancreas procedures that have ultimately been failures. The one was merely exploratory, and then the one yesterday was a flat-out failure. He could not do anything. Apparently, the strictures in my pancreas are too tight for him to put a stent in. So, uh, as I alluded to yesterday, I'm being referred to Barnes in St. Louis because they have more specialized equipment and they have surgeons who train specifically in my type of surgery. Sorry about the dog butt in the back background. So they are supposed to call today or tomorrow to arrange probably the first of a trillion appointments before I can have anything done. Which means I get to burn the last of my sick time and make 47 drives in the shitty weather to St. Louis. Hopefully there won't be too much in the way of yuck precipitation. Maybe it'll just be cold. The cold I can deal with. I hate snow and ice. The cold I don't deal with real well. So I kind of lied about that. Uh, I'm just... I'm frustrated. I'm down. I'm feeling... Defeated. Like my... Pancreas is winning. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sick of... I'm sick of being in pain. I'm sick of not knowing what the fuck is the matter with me. I'm sick of not being able to fix it. I mean, I don't expect a miracle cure to happen just like that and make me 150% better than I was. 
But it'd be nice to get something for all these hospital visits, all this pain I get, all this inconsistency of being able to eat or keep things down or even be hungry. It'd just be nice to get something. You know what I mean? But whatever it is, what it is. And in happier news, Tommy and Lori, I mentioned them the other night. Uh, they, they're they the ones that got me my new pancreas. Um, but they are our group leaders for Half Wits, which is our training program for the Lincoln Presidential Half Marathon in April. Our running club has training programs throughout the year, and one of them is the Half Wits. They, Tommy and Lori, posted the Half Wits running schedule yesterday, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, it's going to start out virtually because COVID, stupid-ass COVID. But at least we have something to go by, and hopefully sometime soon between vaccines and hopeful mitigations that are actually being followed, we can maybe start meeting in small groups or in slightly larger groups in different locations, whatever the, whatever it takes, so we can actually have somewhat of a social situation again. It's amazing how much you miss people. I mean, you take for granted seeing them all the time. And then when you don't get to see them, I mean, I'm really missing my people. Big time. Both of you watching and all the people I normally run with, people I sometimes run with, the people I see out. I miss you guys. Uh, and it's weighing hard on me. I'm trying to stay somewhat positive, but it's difficult. I'm not going to lie. In the meantime, since Tommy and Lori posted the half wood schedule, I at least have something that I can get out and start walking. Uh, like Dawn said this morning, Dawn is my wife. I don't know if I've mentioned that. You'll meet her eventually too. But as Dawn mentioned this morning, the doctor did not say I can't exercise and that it's probably mostly a as tolerated sort of thing. So I can at least get out there and walk, maybe try to run a stepper here, here or there and uh, see what I can do. Probably be a game time decision regardless. I may not even feel like going out at all, but I... I I need to do something to start feeling myself again. It's it's been a hard almost four months now of not being able to be with my people. Um Not being able to run. You know, I bitch and complain about running in the winter because it's cold and winter's stupid. And But God, I want to get out there so badly. So I don't know. Um, I'll at least try to do some walking. Maybe if Dawn was serious the other day about GoPros and gimbals and steady cams. Maybe I can get a little bit of equipment to uh, take out with me when I go. In the meantime, um, I'd appreciate you sending me good juju for 
Panky's sake. I will keep you updated on what happens with the Barnes situation. That reminds me I also have to find an endocrinologist around here about my diabetes. Diabetes. But at any rate, I will keep you posted on all of that. Um, I'll hopefully try to get out and walk a little bit here and there. Take you with me when I can. Uh, in the meantime, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button down there at the bottom. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button that's down there. Uh, tell your friends, your neighbors, your family members that might be interested in my goofy videos. Have them take a look, send them the link, whatever the case. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Johan out.